Well, I promised you a story about another story about the Capitol Christian Center, a building that I've never been inside in a complete state. I mean, I watched it while they were building it, made sure none of the equipment walked off. You know, saved them lots of money, but they decided they can't trust a, uh, you know, a non-believer. How could they know that I would steal from them if uh, I'm not afraid of hell? <laughs> I guess. It doesn't matter. It was a shitty job anyway. And I got put on a better job after that. But, uh... I, like I said, it's been 30 years, and uh, no real hard feelings. I just thought it'd be an interesting video, and it occurs to me I do, I do have a story of my aunt who uh, she started going there, and I guess she still does. Uh, Capital Christian Center, one of my aunts. Uh, interesting journey she's been on. Uh, when I first moved to Sacramento from Placer County, you know, we were pretty tight, and uh, she was going through a spiritual quest, and so was I, so I attended quite a few churches with her, and she was, she's still my favorite aunt, even though, you know, she's gone through some really extreme phases of her religion. I think she's getting a little more relaxed, uh, now that she's in that super saccharine, uh, white elephant uh, of a building, the Capitol Christian Center, where it's all about pretense and uh, good manners, I guess, uh, and voting the way they tell you. Well, she met this one uh, nice old lady uh, at the Capitol Christian Center, and they became friends. And uh, she started giving her rides to, uh, to the Capitol Christian Center. Uh, that lady was uh, Dorothea Puente. Uh, the famous landlady serial killer. <laughs> yeah, she and my aunt were friends. Matter of fact, she even asked my aunt, because she has a couple of chronically unemployed sons. I think it's still the same story today. Well, one of them did some yard work once in a while, and she wanted him to do some landscaping for her. <laughs> And he claimed that, uh, you know, his back, and so he never went. And that's probably good. It's probably good. But, um, yeah, my aunt used to drive a serial killer to the Capitol Christian Center to worship God. Yeah, and sometimes Dorothea uh, Puente would call my aunt, and uh, she sounded a little tipsy on the phone, and she would just go on and on about Jesus brag about a bunch of shit that isn't true and uh, it's kind of ironic because I lived a block away from Dorothea but I didn't know anything about that but my aunt used to give her rides and my one of my cousins almost ended up doing yard work for her could have even ended up under her yard I think that's funny as hell I mean it's not a statement on Christianity but isn't it funny that uh, someone like Dorothea would want to want to uh, don uh, the armor of faith? Maybe a lot to be forgiven for, like murdering people and collecting their pensions. Uh, also, maybe a pretense of uh, righteousness, trustworthiness. Uh, it's so funny, you know. My aunt's a little leery around me now. She actually looks like I might, you know, contaminate her with a disease. And she might wake up one day roasting in hell, like, right next to me. Yeah, so it's too bad. Uh, she's been through a lot, though. I can understand why she would need a crutch. And she is a wonderful lady, don't get me wrong. I mean, it's just too bad. There is a wedge there since I went one direction and she went the other. And we went from being real close to, uh, well, that's that. Anyway, I'm rambling, but uh, for a guy who hasn't been inside the Capitol, capital, the Capitol, <laughs> the Capitol Christian Center, uh, yet anyway, might have to buy a suit. But like I said in my comment to the last video, uh, uh, 
Jesus couldn't even get in there dressed the way he was. I'm sure uh, t-shirts and a dungaree wouldn't work either. Yeah, they, you probably got to wear a tie and everything. But I'd like to see what it looks like, actually. You know, I have a, a, sort of a sense of pride that... I did my part to help, <laughs> you know, and I did an honorable job uh, when I guarded it. I really did, you know, and uh, that's fine. A lot of criminals probably hang out at the Capitol Christian Center, I'm sure, among good people. You know, I mean, why wouldn't you, you know, you know, all the way down to Albert Fish, you know, uh, people love to wrap themselves in... Uh, Righteousness gets people to lower their guard, maybe, or maybe people to alibi you because they just know you're too good. Dorothea Puente, isn't that a kick in the ass? Anyway, talk to you later. Peace.